Shalom. Hold on, let me check check this thing. Hold on, brothers and sisters. Hold on. Okay, testing one, two. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to make sure the audio is good. Okay. Oh. Hey. Hey, before we start up, man, let me make sure because I want to turn to the east. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word for all the land wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Woo wee, brothers. Amen. All praises to you, how about Shema Shai, for this truth. All praises to you, how about Shema Shai, for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light, man. Man, yes, sir. So I saw some stuff today. I saw, uh, met, you know, I had to speak speak with people today, you know, more than I normally would. And hey, man, these people are gone. Just, just you know, just uh, you know, just watching the people how they feel about the mask because people are now coming from all different places, you know. And uh, man, they they they're gone. They're totally sucked in. They're totally uh, deceived, should we say? They're totally deceived, shall we say? So hey, let's get let's go ahead and get into some scriptures because you know. Uh, I also want to bring out before I came down here. Um, I was watching the watching some epistles, and uh, GMS Awakening had made this brand new. It was four, from four hours ago. This brand new epistle, and it was called. Uh, it had a. It was an old song that he played. It was a reggae song. And it was a play on words from this reggae song. And it was, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. And that's a that's a top song, you know, especially down here. Uh, and anyway, it's talking about, uh, he did a, some kind of play on the words with, uh, and put Maxine in there. Or either the girl's name was Maxine. You know, the girl's name that he was talking about. But anyway... Man, he had this this video on it, and it showed them damn devils with that uh, with that with the with the object that they give you the jab with, right? But it was the plunger thing was already down all the way, so instead of it being up here, so when you suck out the fluid in the thing, you know, to inject it, it's uh, it's the thing should be up here, but no, the thing was already down there, so they put it in the people. As if they were doing it, and then you could see it was a close-up shot. You could see the doctor fucking around with the top of it. Hey, man. Hey, that's why another reason why all praises to you. How about Shema Shah? So I wrote in the brother's comment. I wrote in his comment, all praises to you. How about Shema Shah? Because what? Hey, you know what? We could we could go with it. We could go back and forth all day long. But man, all. It, when I saw that, all I'm thinking about is, hey, all praises to you, how about Shema Shah for opening up, open up our eyes, you know, so we can see this, you know what I'm saying? So we can have the hope of salvation. What the, the hope of salvation, brothers and sisters? Woo, you know, because what? What's the scripture say? Uh, many perish because they receive not the love of the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Many are called, but few are chosen. You know, so hey. But you better, hey, you gotta, and you know, uh, tonight I was th I was uh, thinking about what kind of epistle this was gonna be, and the epistle is to be, you know, thank thankful of Yahweh Shema Shah for calling us out of all this damn darkness into this marvelous light, my man. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, to be thankful for uh, not letting us be like them them other camps, you know, that we see coming up that that totally damn disregard the scriptures. Coming out of their mouth and look at me! Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to the scripture right now, brothers. I'm going to the scripture right now. Okay, we're going to go to the First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. The scriptures say, "Be sober, be vigilant." Okay, 
because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour okay whom resists steadfast in the faith knowing the same that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world okay but the God of all grace how about Shema Shai who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai after that you have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen settle you to him be glory and dominion forever amen okay now look check this out right up here it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walks about seeking whom he may devour we're going to go over here to the blue letter I got it right here queued up right here we're going to go to tools tools I want to get this word adversary the devil right because well, who's he talking about we're going to go to Strong's info it says uh, Satan right so we know spiritually them demon Satan messing with us trying to sift us out of the truth as well but it also goes into false accuser you know devil you know deceiver slanderer and who is that that's Esau Edom who is a false accuser because they're, they're trying to uh, accuse us falsely when they're the ones that have put the drugs the alcohol the damn guns the uh, uh, promoting all this everything against scripture having us worship a false idol you know not telling us that we are the lost church of Israel you know what I'm saying because we're in their hands we're their captives you know what I'm saying so there are false accusers man trying to feed us pork you know all these things so once again giving all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for opening up our eyes man so we can see and prepare for this for this time of sad perils because hey man what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you you know what I'm saying because what does it say right here one more time who resist steadfast in the faith right so because you because uh what these people are about to implement now with this mandatory thing. Like 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 the brothers are saying, they like to bring it out. It's not like initially. This thing is gonna drag out too, you know. Well hopefully we're we're praying that it, it won't, man. We're praying that they come on a full speed ahead. But we're gonna we'll see, we'll see. Now, they seem like they're moving quite swift swiftly. But they're gonna try to make it hard. I think uh, I saw also another epistle saying they, they got some kind of cards that you have to get also if you got the crown royal so they got all these things that come in at once with it you know pretty soon you're not going to be able to go in and that's there's a store right there won't be able to go in there unless you got your crown royal so these things uh that's and these things right here is see because they're walking around seeking whom they may devour who they may defile you know with with all these abomina abominations that they got uh to go inside of us man you know what I'm saying? The, the children of Israel. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The one that fear you. How about Shema Shai? You know? So, but verse 9 says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith. So, we're going to resist that. We're going to be resisting that thing steadfast in the faith. Because what? Because we love you. How about Shema Shai, man? We appreciate the Lord calling on us. And we're looking at upon all these things. We're looking upon all the rest of the children of Israel. What? But what? Uh, what then? Israel have not obtained that which you're seeking for. This is uh, Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. We're we're thankful to Yahweh Shemashai of all these things, man. So therefore, uh, Romans chapter eight. Verse 38, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashim Asha, which is in Yahweh Shah our Lord. What's the love? How do you love Yahweh Bashim Asha? By keeping his commandments. So hey man, therefore, it can't nothing separate us from doing that, man. Not at this time. Because look, we appreciate what Yahweh Bashim Asha did. He came. He suffered, you know, so that we would have life, man. 
He made that ultimate sacrifice for us, man. And then he done called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. Called us out of this damn filth of the world, man. Huh? You know? So we love you, how about Shim Al-Shai? We don't want to do anything to displease him or dishonor him no more, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't be going back doing that shit, man. And it's just a beautiful thing, you know. It's, it's something, it's really something, brothers and sisters. And to be able to see all these, all these things about to happen on the earth, man. You know? Like, uh, so don't be getting freaked out about what we see Esau eat them about to prepare to do to them children. Of the scripture right here talking about it. Second Ezra chapter 9. Verse 13. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, man. Uh-uh. Because we out here bringing out the word to the hundred, to, uh, you know, reaching our hand, reaching, uh, the, bringing out the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, because it's through his words, he's reaching out his hand to the children of Israel, telling them to repent, to return. You know? This is the way Yahweh Shem Shai got it set up, man. Giving the warning out, getting the blood off our hands. Telling them, hey man, these things about to happen, but they they have no, they care no damn care in the world, Jack. Just driving by on the phone, walking by, knowing they're Israelite, like the dude that just walked past. He know he's an Israelite. That's that's a dude when I first when I first uh, came into the when I first came into the understanding, and I I was uh, running around town all uh, like talking to everybody. Did y'all know we the Israelites? Did y'all know we the Israelites? Did y'all know we the Israelites? You know. And because I didn't know no better, right? And the dude was like, yeah, we know. Yeah, I know. And there was one of them right there. And then I said, I, I said, I, I said, I, I won. I said, I want to, I want to, I want to, I just, I, said, I don't know what I told him, but um, I was, he could tell that I was gung-ho for it, right? But I do remember him saying, so you're going to start wearing one of them purple, one of them purple robes. You're talking about IUIC. I was like, I, I don't know, man. But hey, look what look what y'all about Shima Shah done did for me. Look where he got me at now. Come on, y'all. Look, 2 Andrews chapter 9, verse 13. You know, yeah, they hey man, whatever. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and whom the world was is created, man. So look, you know, because what? The word is going out. To the four corners of the earth. To the so-called children of Israel. And we're particularly looking for the ones that's going to believe this word. Repent and be healed. Before, man, all holy hell breaks loose. Oh, I got to, uh, and look. I want to make a little quick video too. Uh, manana, man. Just a little quick one. Let me get this scripture first. This is a uh, book of Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning? That they may hear, Right? Whom shall we speak and give warning? These are the words of the scripture, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here making ourselves a, a spectacle. You know, in front of Yahweh Shema Shai and men. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahweh Shema Shai is unto them a reproach and they have no delight in it, man. Because what? Because you gotta have that little bit of faith. Yahweh by Shema Shai has to be able to have it would have called you, man. What did the Lord say? You didn't choose me, I chose you, man. So it's a special blessing, brothers and sisters. Uh right before I open up a camp. That was the Edomite came up here. Now I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He was asking me about, you know, he first he said, you know, I got everything set up or something. Uh, talking about I got a big production here or something, you know, but I guess because he's talking about my signs or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, I could tell he was inquiring about it. So, hey man, I just ran it down to him quick, you know, just in case. But then he didn't want to hear the scriptures. He wanted to hear what I had to say and how I felt about it. And we understand, you know, the spirit bears witness, man. So, hey, but whatever. We out here doing the work for you. How about Shema Shai? Let's get this one right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 35, verse 15. 
I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, man. You know, because it's clear. It's clear to some, you know, if you really want to see this, but if you really want to believe, you know, it should be, you know, the, 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 the evidence is stacked against Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race as being the devil. Because we understand now, you know, through the, the, the opening of the eyes that Yahweh by Shema Shai has laid on us, and from the teachings of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, brothers and sisters, of course, you know, how this world is wicked and is ran in all wickedness from the powers that be, which who are Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. On the back of the money, it's got in God we trust. But then over here, they're doing all kind of wickedness. They're trying to justify all the shit they done did to the people. Still running around. And they can't even help the damn self, man. Damn, the damn, uh, the damn Catholic priests can't even help themselves from fundling boys and shit over and over again. Boy Scouts doing it. You know, where does the, where does the wickedness stop? It does not stop. They are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. I have also sent unto you all my prophets. Salaki. I have, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way. And that's what I told that, that's what I told that man. I said, the Lord has sent us out here. He called us out here. You know, we just didn't wake up one morning and decide to go preach. No. He sent us out here to warn the children of Israel, to tell them to repent. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, Jack. It says, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. The Lord said, Y'all ain't even paid me no attention, man. Word been going out over and over again. Every weekend, week out. They still come by. They walk on by. They don't stop to inquire. They don't give a damn to know. So what the scriptures say? The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Verse 13, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created, man. Because what? Man, when you see the wickedness of these devils, when you see what they're about to do, when you see the deception of that thing, when they try to do the thing, and the thing is already matched down, man. You know, right in front of everybody to see. You're like, oh man, them motherfuckers gonna get them niggas. That's all I'm thinking. I'm th that's what I was thinking. I said, them niggas gonna get it. And you notice I said them because I am hoping and praying not to be affiliated with them. I want to be on the on the side of righteousness, man. And I'm praying, every boy, I'm finna start praying double time, Jack. Hey, I'm finna start praying, boy. What's the scripture say? Let's go get that scripture. Okay. Hold on, brothers and sisters. Uh -uh, I don't want that one. It's in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36, man. Let's go get it. Luke 21, verse 36. Let's start at uh, all the way up in 29. Luke 21, verse 29. And he spoke to them a parable. Behold... Wait a minute, is that the right one? 
Hold on. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Salaki, Salaki, brother and sister. Luke 21 and 29. And he spoke to them a parable. Behold, of the fig tree and all the trees. When thou now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is not in hand. Right? So summer is not in hand when you see the fig tree. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashi is at hand. Okay? Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So this is the generation that everything's about to happen, man. Because remember, the Lord has woke us up, right, in these last days. Because he told Daniel to go seal the books, right, until the time of the end where this generation will be here again on the earth. And then also we can understand that in the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Right? It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all be fulfilled. And that's all the prophecies, man. That's your Howard Bashim Al coming back to judge this wicked place. That's the end of Esau's kingdom. That's all the death and destruction that's about to happen. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourself, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, man. So don't be don't be wandering off. Yeah, but no, keep your eyes single, man. Stay right there, plugged in at this particular time, man. Because we're close, baby. It says, and take heed to yourself. That's right. Always examine yourself. Make sure you're in the truth. Make sure you're getting built up more in the faith. You're growing closer to your Habashi Shimashai. You're doing everything you possibly can. You know, to please your Habashi Shimashai. And get on the good graces with him. You know, get that keep communication flowing. You know, and take heed to yourself, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. Because what? What does the scripture say? Let's go get it. Everybody running around here worried about this bullshit. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse eleven. Wait, three, verse eleven. Salaki. So Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening until the coming of the day, day of Yahweh Shemashah, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, my man. We're looking for it and we're hoping for it, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're looking to be saved and hoping to be saved out of that, man. We're, we're, being, we're being putting on that helmet of salvation, man. Hoping and praying that we're part of that 144 holy elect. It says, nevertheless, we according to his promise, man. Because Yahweh Shem Asha has declared and promised that he is going to save his elect, man. Okay? Nevertheless, we according to his promise. Look for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. He said he's going to come and redeem us out of this hellhole, man. And he's going to establish the kingdom of heaven, man. Where his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know what I'm talking about? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless, brothers and sisters. That's why we that's why we're heading for it, man. And what? That devil's walking around like, you know, like a roaring lion. Fucking with you. <laughs> One way or the other, man. But this is the time, this is the time what? Let's go back. And take heed to yourself, least. At any time, your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. So all the things of, of, the, of this world, you know, that we're supposed to be turning away from in the first place, right? He said, be not conformed to this world. Don't worry about this shit in this world. Throw all your cares on me. What? He said, you know, and cares of this life. And so that they come upon you unawares, right? So you so worried, wrapped up a word about uh, like working for the man. Uh, are, are trying to build up that damn community over here or are trying to please that fool over here you know what I'm saying sucking up to this 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 woman over here or some bullshit or watching some shit too much you know it, 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 we, 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 we're men we're people you know you can't stay plugged in all the time but hey man you can't be surfeiting all, all over the place 
trying to do, you're doing too much, man. Him that is holy, be holy still, man. Be separate, brothers. Okay? And drunkenness and cares of this life is so that they come upon you unawares, man. That's why, that's why, you know, you, and that's what it is. That's what it's all about. Being plugged in with the brethren. Yay! You know what I'm saying? Be plugged in with the brethren. Brothers bringing out new information coming out. You be like, okay, yeah, I got that. We understand that. Oh, it's getting closed. Oh, shit, next week? Are they going to roll that new uh, Moderna out on Monday? You know what I'm talking about? It says, For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. And here it comes now. Like we, we've been seeing it. Them motherfucking devils. Uh, that python, that old serpent. Just slowly squeezing it. Squeezing it, boy. Squeezing it. So it's squeezing it as a snare. On the whole, on the what? The whole earth, man. And you had that fool the other night from IUS UPK talking about some, uh, you think a, you think a rich, you think a rich man going to get the RFI? D? You know what I'm saying? You think a rich man going to get the RFI D microchip? Them fools going to get it first. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? They're not the children of Israel. They don't, it don't, it don't concern them. That's the mark of the beast. They are them motherfuckers already condemned. You know what I'm saying? It says, "For a snare shall it come up on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth." Watch. This is the point right here, brothers and sisters. This is the point. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch ye therefore and pray always, man. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all praises to you. How about Shema Shai, man? So watch therefore and pray. I got it. Okay. Look. Watch ye therefore and pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. So you how about Shema Shai? Let's open up our eyes, man. No, so that's what I'm saying. Boy, I'm finna get. I'm about to get on that prey. What was that? What's that scripture say about that? Uh, the parable about that that old woman, and they got the the uh, the, the the man who 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 done believe in, in the Most High, and he doesn't regard man. But this old this woman, this judge, uh, the woman kept coming to him all the time, like a squeaky wheel, getting on his nerves. So he 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 avenged that woman. Now how about Shema Shah say, so you think I won't, I'm gonna avenge, I'm gonna avenge you, so therefore, watch and pray, man, always. I hope I didn't badger that, that uh parable up too much, man. Salaki brothers and sisters that I did. Oh. I, I had another scripture in mind, I'm about to get it now. Yeah, let's go to the book of First uh, Thessalonians, chapter five, verse nine. Come on, First Thess. There it is. First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse nine. For Yahweh Shemashah had not appointed us to wrath. Okay? Right. The Lord didn't call us over here for wrath, man. Come on, yeah, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's read it, man. Let's go back to uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you know, you have no need that I write unto you. The Lord said, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shemashah so cometh as a thief in the night. Why do we know that? Because we believe, man. Because we, the Lord done woke us up to the truth. We believe. We believe in the scriptures. We believe that the Lord said, I'm going to come as a thief in the night. 
We believe the scripture that says, just like in the days of Noah, they were out there eating, drinking. You know what I'm saying? The same going to be when the Son of Man cometh up on them. You know? For ye yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shema Shah so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, you know, and that's what that's what the uh, General Yohanna talking about. And you know the fucked up thing about that shit that he talking about. Some they want you to be healthy slaves. So you know they want you to be healthy slaves. That's what he's saying. And that brings up a scripture right here in my mind right now, man. Come on, let's go get it, man. Did I have it already? I think I had one down already. Shoot. This shit made me mad, you know. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. I did have it. I did have it. Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. Yeah, man, because I think I was thinking about that on the way down here. Or when I was packing up the car. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, that's why the nigga don't even, don't even never bring out no scriptures. Every, the, all the videos that we um, that we rebuke him on, I don't think I, I don't I can't recall him reading the scripture. Do y'all? I'm sure he probably did. I'm not sure he did. But it, nevertheless, man, wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and per, and perverseness and stay thereon, man. Number one, they got the 501c3. You know what I'm saying? Boy, ain't no telling what kind of work they're doing for Satan. You know what I'm saying? Misleading the sheep. You stay there on, man. You stay there upon. You will not repent from your wicked ways. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out on the high wall. Whose breaking cometh suddenly and at an instant, man. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken into pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in this bursting of it a shred, a shard, to make the fire from the heath, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus said Yahweh Shemashai, Lord God, the Holy One of Israel. And returning in rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. Right, because Yahweh Shemashah got his hands stretched out all the day long, man. The door of repentance is open, the gates of mercy are open. Come on, let's go get it. Let's, come on. Let's go back. Come on now. I hope this thing don't mess up on me. Second Ezra chapter, we're going to wear this second Ezra chapter 9 out tonight. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Yahweh Hashem Hashem has got us out here preaching the word. Elders and apostles of Great Millstone been out there on the highways and hedges for 30 years, 30 years, 35 years plus, man. The fruits of their, the, the fruit of their labor done sprung up. Started preaching the word. Huh? Through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Telling y'all to repent. You, you stiff neck, uncircumcised at heart. That, that nigga, uh, I mean, Salaki, a brother, brother woke up in the truth not even a, less than a year night. Woke up out in the truth not less than a year. Can, can see straight through IUIC, rebuking them already. You know what I'm saying? Can see straight through, but hey, that's 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 the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Can see straight through all these other camps, man. What's going Because what? 
because they love an oppression and stay there on. But what? Right here in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 11 and they they have loathed my law, right? The law. The Lord said, "Hey, envy not thy oppressor." This is the oppressor's kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Of course they're going to have money and riches. The Lord, we here on our punishment. Y'all fools trying to get that shit here. But the Lord already got it set up for us to receive that in the kingdom of heaven, man. The Lord said, make no covenants with them. He your ass is holding hand with the damn heathen. Uh, right now, uh, filling out a 501c3 form, man. And misleading the sheep the whole damn way. What's the scripture say? And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And all these other children of Israel walking up and down the damn street. Boy, hey man, that's why I said, all praises to you, how about Shema Shai? And, uh, I, and I, I didn't tell y'all, but at the end of that, I'm not talking about GMS awakening when he uh, showed that. That's, uh, And these, these devils continue with the witchcraft, man. With their little, uh, with the, uh, all, just all kind of witchcraft, man. But anyway, GMS Awakening with the video, he, uh, had to, had to, uh, the thing with the, with the, with the, with the nurse and the thing I was telling y'all about. But at the end, I said, all praises to y'all about Shema Shah. And I, I said, he declared the end from the beginning because what else you gonna say, man? Because it's already written that these children, these stiff necked ones, right here. Stiff neck children of Israel. You see, see that stormed off, see? They don't want to hear the word. They don't want to repent. You know what I'm saying? The lust of the flesh, man. Blinded by, by the gods of this world. That doesn't entice them. You know what I'm saying? When the truth, what? Come on, let's, let's get it, man. So look, one, that's why, man, that's why I'm praying to y'all about Shema Shah telling the Lord, thank you so much. Man, thank you so much. Shalom 777. Just put up a video uh, before I came down as well. A little short, short clip, man. Once again, got one of them damn retarded ass Christians talking about they speaking in tongues. And the funny thing. <laughs> hey, this this crazy uh old thick, juicy. What he's not fat, but man, just a thick, solid woman. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about, man? Oh my goodness. So look. Just imagine what Yahweh Hashim Al-Shai got set up for us, brothers and sisters. Man, this woman. But anyway, she up there, uh, old wicked self. Talking about some, she's speaking in tongues. Talking about some old shamla, blah, 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 She going off, man. And then at the end, she almost, <coughs> she almost caught, she almost choked to death. Hey, man, Shalom 777, put that, hey, that was hilarious. I needed that little laugh, you know. But yeah, man. So, all that. Thank you, Yahweh Bashim Shah, for opening our eyes to the 100% truth, brother. To the 100% truth. We could be, we could be in uh, the GOCC camp, man. Still trying to hold hands with the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Yahweh Bashim Shah, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, because what? All them camps, all them them lies, all them uh, them uh, trying to going against the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Because the Lord said, preach the word. He said, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, keep my commandments. And we ain't talking about just the ones you like, man. We're not talking about pretending, enlarging your garments, but you're not doing the laws, but you're telling everybody else to do the law. You know what I'm saying? Because we know the law don't save you anyway. But we're coming back to the best of our ability, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Trying to get our garments clean and, spot, and, and without spot and blameless, brothers and sisters. It says... And they, they had low my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it, man. They despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, man.
come on, let's go back to book of uh, the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shemashah so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them, as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right, so he's telling you uh, that Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, your enemy that the Bible speaks of, the devil that the Bible speaks of as well. Now wants to do good for you all of a sudden. He loves oppression and wants to stay there on. So he's telling you it's peace, it's peace and safety. This, you know, this is good for us. It's gonna be okay. Just go get it and get it over with. That's what I think he actually said. Let's go get it over with. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, man. You know? And the children of the day. We're not of the night, nor of darkness. Let us therefore not sleep as others do. You know what I'm saying? But let us watch and be sober, brothers and sisters. We're watching out for these things and just preparing for the turn of Yahweh Shah. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And let they be drunken or drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, man. Okay? And for a helmet of hope of salvation, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this salvation, man. We're looking for some hope. We're looking for Yahweh Shemesh to, to crack them clouds and beam us up and say, well done, good and faithful servant, you know, to, to get us out of this hell hole, man. To get us out of the way of those nuclear warhead missiles that's about to come over here to Babylon the Great and destroy this place. And one more time, the point. For Yahweh Shemashai have not appointed us to wrath. Okay, that's a hey man, that's a strong point. That's a point I wanted to make. The Lord didn't call us to appoint us to wrath, man. Brought us over to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone with the hundred percent truth. You know? To show us all the mysteries of the scriptures for just to, just for wrath? No, he wants us to get washed with the word, man, to get prepared for the return. Right? It says, For Yahweh Shem Shah has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. To obtain salvation. Okay? Who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. So, you know, that's why we read uh, in the book of Romans, chapter 8. Uh, I can't remember what, what, what verse it was. Let's go get it real quick. Verse, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 38. For, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shem Shah, which is our Lord Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Who died for us? That whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. That's right. We're persuaded, man, because we we have that confidence in Yahweh Shem Shah that hey man. Listen, if we if we're not the 144 hopefully late, man. Don't don't let us go, go on, man. Don't let us go on. If we're not the Elect of the children of Israel, man. I don't want to be. I want. I wouldn't want to be it, man. I don't want to be uh, Romans eleven and seven. I don't want to be blinded. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be walking around here in darkness. I want to be a child of light, man. It says, "Wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye do, man." And that's what we do, man. We build up each other. We we give each other that that hope and strength, you know, that we're bringing it out. You know that uh, that brother, you're not going off. You know, you're sounding good, brother. That song that you're singing sounds sweet. You know what I'm saying? Because what? Because it gives us hope.
because it gives us hope to comfort each other with these words, man. And they sang as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000. But the 144 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth, man. Okay? Future tense, which were redeemed. It's written in past tense, which were redeemed. Which were redeemed from the earth. Which were redeemed. Let's look this up in the blue letter. I'm going to see that word, word means. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see what it means. Come on, let's go get it. Uh... Okay, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 3. I'll put tools. Okay, it's, it's got word redeem uh, together as a joint phrase. I'm going to go to Strong's Info. To go to market, to purchase, especially to redeem, to buy. Okay, 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 got it. And that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahshua say. He said, no man, that's what that's what the Messiah say. He said, no man shall buy you. So right there, he said he's, he's going to redeem us, man. Okay? Let's get another one. Since we're here. I went to sing, but sing just means sing. Okay, that's it, man. Let's look up new. Go to Strong's. Woo, the word new means uh, properly so with the respect of age because don't forget this is the end of an age so it's the beginning the bringing in of a new age oh yeah man I love it I dig it I can dig that so look the point of this brothers and sisters be steadfast in the truth man because the devil like a roaring lion walketh about sin who, whom he may devour, man. And look, what's going on right now is that they're trying to get us to uh, take this crown royal thing, jab, which is going to ultimately lead to, lead to the mark of the beast. And well, let's read about it right now since we're in the book of Revelations. Revelations chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, okay, so, look, we're not even supposed to be worshiping this beast. Because what the scriptures say? That we're supposed to be turning away from this wicked world, man. We're supposed to be holy, setting ourselves holy, man. Being separate from this wicked-ass place that's pro that promotes everything that's against the scripture. Contrary to the word of Yahweh Shem Huh? So, look, if you're not doing that, if you're not here, separated yourself, what the scriptures say? Let's go get it. Book of Second uh, Corinthians, chapter six, verse seventeen. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, said Yahweh Shemashai, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, man, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord said, come from among them. 
That's right. Because what? We're supposed to be coming back to our true nationality, our true heritage, which are what? The Israelites, man. God's chosen people. Let's go get that. In the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 14, verse 1. Ye are the children of Jehovah Shem al Shai. You're the children of the Lord, your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. That's right. We're not supposed to be cutting our flesh, man, at all. We can't be getting no jabs, no puncture wounds, no crown royals, nothing. Okay? It says, for thou art a holy people. We're supposed to be separate. That's why the scripture in 2 Thessalonians, uh, so, so like 2, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 says, come out from among them, man. We got to remember ourselves and go back to the ways of our forefathers. You know what I'm saying? Being that holy nation. It says, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Back in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. And the... For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth, man. We're not, we're not like the other nations. Huh? And I don't care what that, I don't care what that Edomite lady said today on that video. I posted, I made a video this morning. She talking about some, you don't sound racist. When you, didn't you sound racist? When you didn't want us to drink out the same water fountain? Or use the same toilet, but it was okay then, wasn't it? But now they're trying to switch it up. Because they're putting on an act. You know what I'm saying? They're deceiving the whole world one more time. But they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know what I'm saying? But when we come out bringing our 100% truth out of the scriptures, the Lord's telling us to be what? 2 Second, Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, say Yahweh Shema Shah, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So all this wicked bullshit that's going on around here in the planet Earth, all this this shit that these people are pushing out on you, telling you it's okay to do this shit, to continue on in your wickedness. The Lord says, stop doing that, man. Clean your temple, right? Let's go back. To the book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 9. And the Lord and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wrath of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shimashai. Okay? So there you go, right there, man. Plain and simple. Even the Lord said, Hey man, because look. You can, you can, you can, uh, all day long, you can, uh, what do you call it, resist getting the, uh, getting the RFID chip. But are you, are you, do you, are you watched? Do you believe in Yahweh about Shima You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, no, I don't know, man. The scriptures say, if any man worship the beast and his image, right? And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Because these devils are going to make it impossible. You ain't going to get away, brother. You are not going to get away from these devils unless the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah is guiding you through these sad perils. That's the point. That's it. You ain't going nowhere. Because what? Yahweh by Shema Shah has declared. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8 
And it shall come to pass that in all the land said Yahweh Hashem Hashem, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. So Yahweh Hashem Hashem has already declared the end from the beginning, my man. Right? It's because it's saying right here in the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb, man. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right? Those stiff neck and uncircumcised at heart, man. The rebellious children. You know what I'm talking about? Because in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7, it says... Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And the Lord has already declared what you must do in order to live, man. To what? Avoid punishment. Right? So you can't mock Yahweh Bashim al Shai by doing whatever the hell you want and think it's going to be okay. The Lord is talking about, He's going to come and get you, man. Come on, y'all. Let's go get something. This is the warning that's going out to the children of Israel. Let's go to the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Remember the Lord coming out as a thief in the night. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have not been ever the like. Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, my man. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh al Shai, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with the covering but not of my spirit. They that want, they, that they may add sin to sin, Salaki, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. Yahweh al Shai say, Woe. Woe means destruction. You know what I'm talking about? The Lord's going to get them, man. And we cannot wait for the carnage to happen, man. We can't wait. When the, when the, when the brother told me about the uh, 100 people that got that, that got jacked up in the UK, man, I was, man, I'd be, I be happy, man. I do. I'd be happy, man, because what? I'll tell you, man, hold on. Book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 30 He that is not with me is against me and he that gathered not with me scattereth abroad man so look I'm with y'all about Shem Shai I'm to the best of my ability man I'm right here man I'm doing what the Lord has commanded me to do to the best of my ability brothers and sisters bringing out the word you know uh not handling the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem deceitfully, you know. But we have others, man, that doesn't seem to be with Yahweh Hashem Hashem. They don't seem to be with Yahweh Hashem Hashem.
Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 8. It says, only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked, man. And that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That's the hope of salvation that we're looking for, brothers and sisters. Let's read this whole, let's read this whole uh, chapter right here, man. This whole scripture right here. This is in the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And you know, that's what we're looking for, brothers and sisters. We are, we talk, we're, man. Because we understand what Yahweh Shema is about to do on this earth. And that was just a glimpse of it. And you know, that's, and uh, once again, we got to give all honors and praises to Yahweh Shema Shai for allowing us to see that little close up of the, of the thing with the jab and the thing that act like they, they act trying to act like they're putting it in the thing. We already know these motherfuckers are devil, but damn! We see it. Yahweh Hashem outside has always has allowed us to see the deception firsthand. What did what, 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 what he say? The curtain, the curtain was pulled back on that on the Wizard of Oz, man. Remember, they saw the wizard. We saw the man back there doing all that shit. Come on. And he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And you see, hey man, with that, you got to know that you need protection in these last days from these damn devils. Because who created these devils? Yeah, how about Shem HaShah to be the perfect devil? To be the perfect vessel of, 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 of hatred toward the children of Israel. What did Esau say? The day is coming. I'm going to kill my brother Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to verse 2. So this is Psalm chapter 91, verse 2. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy pestilence, man. The, the snare of the fowler. That's Esau Edom, man, with that bullshit on every side. They're closing in on every side. Trying to get us, man. Trying to hurt us, brothers. Trying to hurt us, brothers and sisters. Trying to get us, trying to defile us, man. And then, the noisy pessimists, the nuclear missiles, man, that's gonna be shot around here after World War III. And we're looking for you, how about Shema Shah, to, to save us out of this, man. It says, Surely he shall deliver me, thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy, noisy pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, man. Yeah, my Shema I said, we're not going to be afraid, man. Because why? Ever heard that song? Let it go. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shema Shai, which is in our Lord Yahweh Shai. We don't let it go, man. We gotta let it go, man. Ain't nobody thinking about it because we understand that Yahweh Shema Shai is all powerful. We understand that there's not a, a, a sparrow that falls from the sky without his consent, man. We understand that he's the one that kills and make a lie. You know what I'm saying? It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday, man. A thousand shall fall at thy right side, and ten thousand, so like it, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. 
And that's what we're looking for too, man. Because what? We got all these damn scoffers. I think Brother Malcolm has just made an epistle about some damn scoffer still in these last days. You know? Nothing better to do, man. You got all these non-believers. You got those ones that's on the fence. You know what I'm saying? You got the ones that's still doing wickedness. And stay there on par. You got the ones that want to hold hands with the enemy. The ones that, you got the ones that want to stay here in Babylon the Great and, and uh, make America great again, man. Come on. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, man. Because thou hast made Yahweh Shema Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. That's right, man. We stay right here. We stay praying. Like we say, like I say, we got to even be praying even more, man. In these last days. What this devil about to do his thing? You know, I used to pray for spiritual powers. But nowadays, I'm just praying for salvation, brothers and sisters. I'm praying this scripture right here. Not to be uh, not to be afraid, not to be a hurt, not to be blinded, man. We're praying to be a part of the 144, hopefully, like, and one third of Israel, you know? We're praying for the love of Yahweh Hashim Shai to spare us and have mercy on us, man. You know what I'm saying? And if it be His will to give us spiritual power, that'd be great. Whatever the Lord wants us to do, I'll be the vessel for that, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? It says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, man. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone, man. So the angels, you know, the Lord has given the angels charge over us, man, to protect us in these last days, you know. That's a blessed thing, brothers and sisters, because we're going to need that. So we don't even dash our foot up against the stone, man. The Lord says he's going to lift up a standard, man. He says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the dragon shall thou tremble under feet, trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name, brothers and sisters. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation, brothers and sisters. Hey brother, we're gonna we're gonna get brothers and sisters. We're gonna get one more strip and then we're gonna close it up, okay? We're gonna go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter thirty, verse seven. Ooh, I gotta put my glasses back on again. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse seven. It says, "Alas." For that day is great. And, you know, hey, it's, it's upon us. You know, the beginning of sorrows. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it, brothers and sisters. He shall be saved out of it. You know, and we're hoping and praying to be a part of that number. The elect of Israel, man. The chosen seed line. The vessels fitted for mercy. So with that, brothers and sisters, I hope this was edifying. I want to turn to the east. Give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144, hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the land wherever you go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.